I was a kid in high school. We had a teen club in St. Charles, that's where I grew up, called the Jaguar. All the big national acts played there. I mean, I saw the Who there, saw Vanilla Fudge. And so one time this band comes into town and I, up to this point, I've been listening to, you know, Sugar and Spice and All Things Nice. And here comes this band that's doing like old blues numbers all rocked up and it's called the Shadows of Night. And I'm looking at this lead singer and I'm going, this guy, this guy, I don't even know if he knows how to harmonize with anybody. He's just such a, un you know, individual. I don't know where I'm at. And I go, that's the kind of guy I want to do. <laughs> that's the kind of man I want to have. So, so from that moment on, I just followed those guys around for a couple of years. You know, and I mean, Jerry McGeorge, I mean, all the guys in that band were phenomenal. And so the first band I put together was with Ken Cooper, the drummer from the, the Boys. And he and I put together a four piece band and we did, we did like, you know, old blues songs rocked up and we did like Led Zeppelin and we did, you know, that kind of stuff. But it was Jimmy that was my influence. I mean, Jimmy really did influence me. And I told him a couple years later, we get, I went into the army for a couple of years. And when I came back, I put a couple of different bands together. And one of them was the boys in 1975. We decided that this band was gonna be a raucous, in your face kind of a band. Well, Jimmy caught wind of it. He started coming around and, and over the next two or three years, we became really good friends. and. Every time he was in the audience, of course he would come. I'd call him up and we'd do Gloria. And her name is G L O I I I I G L O R I A. And we maybe you know a couple other songs off his album, whatever he felt, whatever he felt like, because he was my mentor. You know what I'm gonna tell him? No. You can't, you can't come on stage. <laughs> so he's one of those guys that's going to be missed. He was a character in his own right, and everybody loved him. I mean, he was like a puppy dog, you know? Girls girls just loved him, come, grab him, hold him to their bosom and stuff. I mean, they, they just loved the guy, you know? And I go, that's the part I didn't get, Jim. I, I got the part for on stage, but I didn't get that one. <laughs>